In this video we are going to talk about top 10 things to do in Maldives. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. The Maldives are an island nation in the Indian Ocean off the coast of Asia. It is geographically fragmented and one of the world's smallest countries in terms of territory and population. The Maldives were not well known as a tourist destination until the 1970s, when it exploded in popularity, and tourism has been the country's primary source of revenue ever since. The Maldives has simple visa policies. A variety of nationalities are eligible for visas on arrival. All you need is a valid passport and you're ready to travel. There are numerous islands in the Maldives. Some provide first-class luxury, while others are more affordable and allow you to experience the same beauty while staying within your budget. As a result, there are numerous options. The Maldives has evolved into the ideal destination for honeymooners. The tranquil beaches with white sand and blue sea are very stunning. Apart from the visual splendor, the Maldives now provides a variety of activities that visitors can participate in while on the island. After all of the adventures and relaxation sessions, the Maldives has a few tourist attractions to offer. One of them is the Grand Friday Mosque, which is the city's largest mosque. This mosque features exquisite craftsmanship and detailed woodwork that is a visual delight. Non-Muslims must obtain permission before entering. In addition to the mosque, there is the National Museum. This museum is housed within Sultan's Palace and features a beautiful exhibition of royal sunshades, coins, attires, and jewelry, among other things. It also has items from the pre-Islamic era on display. Finally, the Tsunami Monument is worth seeing while you're in the Maldives. It is situated in the city of Mail's southeastern outskirts. The Tsunami Memorial is dedicated to all those who perished in the tsunami of 2004. Its one-of-a-kind architecture pays tribute to every facet of the disaster, which claimed many lives and devastated businesses and structures. Surfing is also popular in the vicinity of the monument. The Maldives has one of the world's most luxury spas. And what could be more relaxing than a long, soothing massage that leaves you feeling 100 pounds lighter? Because the majority of the Maldives resorts are located on water, spas in the Maldives have glass floors that look out over the tranquil marine life below. So while you're getting your massage, you may lie down and enjoy the peaceful aquatic life. Six Senses Spa Lamu, Banyan Trees Premium Spa Vabanferu, one and only Rithi Raz ESPA, Jiva Grande Spa at the Taj Exotica, and the world's first underwater spa, Wafan Fushi, are all popular spas in the Maldives. The Conrad Maldives Rangali Island Resort in the Maldives offers the world's first underwater restaurant. The restaurant is a 14-seat dome-shaped glass dome positioned 5 meters underwater. Fresh fish and wine are served. The cuisine is very delectable. When the food and the surrounding marine life are combined, it creates a unique experience that is difficult to duplicate any place else on the planet. Apart from tourism, the Maldives boasts a thriving fishing economy. Male fish market is a must-see for anybody visiting the Maldives. It is situated on the north side of the island, in the inner harbor. The foot traffic is at its busiest in the afternoon, when all of the fishmongers from the surrounding islands gather to unload their daily catches. There are many different types of fish to choose from, but the freshly caught tuna is definitely worth trying. You might also be able to locate some fresh fruit at the market to go with it. The Maldives is often regarded as the best surfing location in the planet. Top surfers from all over the world go to Cinnamon Don Valley to ride the waves away from the masses and enjoy the high-quality water sports. It is often regarded as the best break in the world, attracting a large number of surfers every year. An Asian surfing championship was held near four seasons in 2014. Apart from the destination stated above, almost all of the islands provide surfing, so even if you're not an expert, you can learn and cross that off your bucket list. Although tourism in the Maldives is very new, just a few decades, it already includes all of the major hotel groups from around the world. These hotel and resort chains offer first-rate amenities and are quite lavish. Booking an exclusive resort for your stay might make your trip even better if you have a lot of money. The Maldives presently has the largest hotel chains in the world. Wellness pioneer Cristina ONG's private villas, Club Med's private villas, and Jose Mara Elizabeth's private island are some of the most recent openings. In the Maldives, you may stay in underwater hotels for a very unique experience. If you plan to visit the Maldives, don't limit yourself to just one island, 
Instead, visit a few more to gain a better sense of the Maldivian culture. By visiting these smallest inhabited islands, one can get a good understanding of what life is like on an island. Maldives offers the nicest and most beaches in the world, as well as a diverse marine life. Dolphin excursions are thought to be one of the nicest things to do while you are there. You don't need any prior training or equipment to spot dolphins. All you need is a small boat and an expert who knows where the dolphins can be found, and you're good to go. Just a short distance from the coast, you may see dolphins in their natural habitat, putting on a spectacular display for the onlookers. It's one of the most enjoyable places to visit. While on it, you can also see a variety of different species. Whales and sharks are among them. Though, for your protection and the welfare of the aquatic life, it is always best to remain a safe distance. The Maldives is one of the best places in the world to go scuba diving. It features a lot of dive shops that are reasonably priced. In the Maldives, scuba diving is done at a slow pace. The Indian Ocean's monsoon current flows throughout the island chain, moving the divers and nutrients along with it. There are numerous scuba diving places to select from. They may differ in terms of marine life diversity, price, and visibility, but they are all worth seeing. Fateyo Kandu, Vavu Atoll, has the most diverse marine life, Kurdu Express, Lavayani Atoll, Akobe Thila, North Male Atoll, Kandu Mathila, South Male Atoll, Broken Rock, South Ari Atoll, and Kadar Athila, South Ari Atoll are among them. Scuba diving visibility varies from 20 meters to 70 meters depending on the terrain and weather. Except for June to August, when it rains, the weather is normally sunny, allowing for better visibility. Prior scuba diving training is required to prepare for drift dives via channels. Reef sharks, sea turtles, stingrays, eagle rays, and other marine life abound in the Maldivian reefs. You don't even have to venture deep to experience the tranquility of the Maldives' aquatic life. Even in the shallowest of waters, you can anticipate a rainbow of hues and plenty of variation. The snorkeling safari costs only $80 per person and allows you to snorkel for around two hours. Prices may differ depending on the location and amenities offered. Snorkeling should be at the top of everyone's list of things to do in the Maldives, because you won't find such diversity anywhere else in the world. What are your thoughts on our video? Please let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.